Man, I can't wait to get home and use that Sun Jody Thatcher. It's gonna be so much fun. Wait a minute. What are you doing? That's mine. I bought that with my own hard-earned money. I mean, our hard-earned money. And you turned in the box and you ruined it. You're ruining my fun. This is fun. What's going on everyone? Chuck here and I hope that you are having an awesome day today. I am really excited about this video. Um, I bought a Sun Joe Scarifier and Dethatcher, but wait! Before you change the channel, turn me off because you've already seen a thousand Sun Joe uh, Dethatcher and Scarifier reviews. This is not gonna be a review of this machine. If you want one, there's plenty of other ones. I mean, I may say, oh, it picked up a lot of stuff, or oh, it didn't pick up very much stuff. But I'm actually looking at this video more like one of those pimple popping videos, if you've seen those on the internets. Um, you know, really up close footage of people getting zits popped and ingrown hairs removed and all that kind of good stuff. Because I'm curious, how much stuff is, gonna, is this thing gonna pull out of my yard? So I'm gonna look at like a lawn pimple popping video. So um, that's what this video is gonna be about. I went ahead and I cut the grass you saw a video on that, uh, just the enjoy the mow. I was saying I was cutting it at three inches. Turns out I was cutting it at two and a half. Jimmy Lewis and I have something in common. We don't know what our Toro settings are apparently, because um, I dropped it to drop it to two, what I thought would be two and a half, and it was actually dropped it to two. So um, it's already at two and a half inches, which is where I want to be. And it doesn't look terrible at two and a half inches in all honesty, but it's not great. Um, but anyway, so it's already um, not scalped, but cut real short to make it easier for this to get through and scoop out all of that junk. So anyway, enough of me babbling. Let's go ahead, turn this thing on and get to work. The one thing I will say, the one review I'll say is that make sure you get the proper cord, extension cord, anything under uh, 50 feet, you get a, a 14 gauge, anything between 50 and 100, you get a 12 gauge. So I have a 100 foot, so I got 12 gauge. Don't do anything over 100 feet. Also, get rid of this thing because it's not gonna do anything. Hey baby, I just wanna say I'm sorry for what I'm about to do to you. But it's okay, it's for your own good. You need this. You'll feel so much better, so much healthier in time. Just forgive me for this momentary inconvenience. So just in three passes, or I'm just sorry, three, one pass, but three uh, lines or whatever. Whew, it's amazing. It's amazing what this stuff pulls up. Look at all that. Choking out my soil. I can definitely, I don't know how you can see that. Down in the soil now. So, done with pass number one. You can kind of see it there. Got a lot of stuff. I'm impressed with that little machine. Um, you know, typically electric, I have electric, I have the Ryobi electric um, weed eater and uh, blower, and they're okay, but they struggle. But pass number one, you know, actually did fairly well. I'm, like I said, I'm impressed. Uh, there was a couple spots where there's a dip or the, you know, the ground is just, there's a little dip or something like that. So the grass is actually thicker in some of those areas. It clogged up just a little bit. Um, but overall, I mean, it didn't smell like any overheating or, so yeah, I mean, look at it. I think it did a really good job. Now I'm gonna do a pass over here on the parkway, the strip, and then I'll rake all this up and then I'll do another pass going the opposite direction or the, the parallel perpendicular direction and uh, should be it for this project. Oh. 
so that was the easy part. The dethatch, run the machine, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Um, this side, I knew it wouldn't have as much because it's much thinner than the main part of the lawn. This has more weeds and stuff, but still got a lot up. Now it comes for the part that, you know, some people just use their mower and they suck up all the debris. I'm gonna rake it because I think it actually ended up being faster because I could just keep moving. Whereas with the mower, you gotta, you're gonna have to do like a pass, maybe two, and you'll have to change, you know, empty the bag, put it back on, pass two, empty the bag. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna rake it up and then do the other direction. So this is an area that I used to show off all the time uh, in my videos, sort of like my show piece area. You can see like uh, the dethatch actually revealed how much Bermuda was actually up here. Like this is all Bermuda. This is all Bermuda here. So this, this stuff ain't good. Here's some fescue, but you can just see how much thinner it is. Obviously with a shortcut at two and a half inches, it's really gonna reveal it. Here's another really thin area, but it looks better than I thought it would. Um, it looks, I'd say it looks good um, because yes, it is thin, very thin in some spots and I'm concerned about weeds coming in. But if I were to compare it to the lawn, the way it looked this time last year, where it was just as thin, but it was covered in weeds. Now it, it, there's still some weeds. I got crabgrass I gotta deal with, but for the most part it is, other than bald pack, bald spots now, it is turf, like even though there's more Bermuda grass than I care for, because I don't want any Bermuda grass, but it's still like, most of it is just fescue and Bermuda with some crabgrass sprinkled in. So I'm actually really um, motivated because once I put the seed down in two weeks and get some fertilizer on it, it's gonna look so good once I get the Bermuda grass out of there, but that might have to wait for another day. But so yeah, I'm really excited. That's it for the Sunjo Scarefire and East Thatcher. Um, I'm impressed with it, really impressed. Uh, I, you know, it's not a typical review because I, I can't compare it to any other dethatchers that I use or anything like that, but it picked up over 10 bags of dead stuff, lost some good grass, but that's, that's okay um, because here in the next two weeks, I'll go ahead and do my overseed. Maybe should have pushed this back a week, but this is the best, you know, I had the day off today. I took today off because my mom's gonna be in town. So, you know, this is just the best time for me to do it. So there's a chance that stuff could grow up, stuff meaning weeds could grow up in the now thinner grass, because like I said, I did lose a lot of good stuff, but you know, that's okay um, because I'll treat for weeds. You know, later I may put down some uh, tenacity or something like that. I wasn't going to, but I may, uh, may just do it, uh, go ahead and do it. Um, but yeah, I am really, really impressed uh, with how this thing works. And um, yeah, I mean, look at this thing. It took a beating today and it's still running strong. So anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you want a dad, dad sticker, hashtag hands of soil, just send me a message uh, on Instagram or Facebook or send me an email, which you can find, find in my about section. I'll gladly send you a sticker uh, free of cost. It just, uh, you know, just need to give me an address. And uh, yeah, so with that being said, I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you on the next one, and God bless.